Hello everyone, got a quick tip for you. Uh, I know some people on Mac, including myself, experience oddities when using third-party webcams. I use a Logitech camera that shoots 720p in widescreen. But on occasion, some of the Mac applications when recording a screencast, uh, especially ScreenFlow, um, will sometimes jump into a 4-3 aspect ratio and you know I'd like for my video to be widescreen uh, when it's capturing it from the webcam. Like you see right now it's 4x3 and I'd rather it be in widescreen and I've discovered a way to manipulate that uh, so that it will record widescreen and here's how you do it. You go into your applications and you launch QuickTime Player okay and you can choose a right click it and choose new movie recording you'll get this player that comes up and it's four by three okay it's right, right now it's just monitoring what I'm what what it sees the camera sees if I just close that all right and open screen flow it will show the opposite of how QuickTime was displaying the footage. So if I open QuickTime and I see it displaying widescreen, that tells me that screen flow is going to record it 4x3 square. If I open QuickTime and it shows it 4x3 and I and then I close QuickTime, the next time screen flow records, it will record widescreen. So that's a little workaround. I'm going to pause this video and uh, come back and, and uh, give an example of the 4x3 and then the widescreen. Alright I'm back now from pausing the video and I went into the applications and into QuickTime opened it up and it was showing that my video was 4x3. What's important to remember is that if your video capture is displaying in QuickTime as widescreen when you open screen flow it's not going to be widescreen it's going to be the opposite so you want to make sure that when you open QuickTime, if you see it 4x3, then once once you close QuickTime and open ScreenFlow, then it's going to be widescreen. It's going to be properly set up for widescreen. QuickTime apparently accesses the camera differently than ScreenFlow, but apparently screen, uh, QuickTime can manipulate whether it's 4x3 or 16x9. Or so just remember, whatever you see in QuickTime, it's going to be the opposite in, in uh, ScreenFlow. So hope that helps you guys. Talk to you later.